部长好，我是《经济日报》中国经济网记者。呃，我们注意到啊，去年中国的这个对外投资有所下降。我们想问部长，您对这个对外投资未来的发展趋势有什么看法？下一步商务部在对外投资方面会有哪些促进措施？谢谢。With Economic Daily, we noticed that last year China's outbound investment declined. So, Minister, what is your assessment about the overall trend of China's outbound investment, and what measures will the Ministry of Commerce take to promote and boost outbound investment? Thank you. Thank you. Last year, China's outbound investment fell. Due to effective containment of unreasonable outbound investment by reducing fever and squeezing out water, China's outbound investment is more sound and reasonable. Overall, China's ODI is good and agrees with China's development level and needs at the current stage. It is in line with economic development laws and is widely welcomed by host countries. It has the following characteristics. First, the size of China's ODI is expanding. China's outward investment has grown from small to big. Now China has become a big investor in the world. In 2017, China's ODI stood at 124.6 billion US dollars, ranking among the top of the world. Second, the structure of China's ODI has been optimizing. In terms of the scope of investment, we are diverging from labor-intensive industries to technology and capital-intensive industries. In terms of the investing entities, we are diverging from SMEs to big businesses as well. In terms of the geography of investment, we are diverging from developing countries to developed countries. For the next steps, we will keep our focus on the Belt and Road and do a good job in the following four areas. First, we want to build cooperation platforms. We want to leverage the development of overseas economic and trade cooperation zones. Number two, we want to deepen industrial capacity cooperation with focus on key industries, key countries, and promote the going global of Chinese advantageous capacity and advanced manufacturing. Number three, we want to grow investing entities and encourage well-equipped and credit-worthy businesses to explore international markets and enhance their cross-border operational abilities and enhance their ability to manage risks. Fourth, we want to regulate operational conduct. We will step up review of authenticity and compliance. We will continue to rein in unreasonable investment. We require Chinese investors abide by laws and regulations of host countries and fulfill their corporate social responsibilities. All in all, all, in all we will strive to create a better environment for the businesses, provide them with better conditions and better services. With a view to building a China investment brand and establish a sound image of Chinese investment. Thank you. 